Hey guys, this is Clint Jeff from ZomaGuysCG.com And this is Vaphav Sharma from the Handheld Blog And this is the Nokia E6 right here um, This is the box that we're going to unbox for you uh, Quick look at the features on the back 8 megapixel camera, um, Symbian Ana, very important um, And touch and type, that's the most important part about this phone right now um, So yeah, let's just quickly unbox this for you Open that up and the version of the E6 that we have is the black, but it also comes in white and silver. Yeah. And uh, you have to admit that the device looks much better when you actually hold it yeah. compared to when you look at that in pictures, especially the curves in the E6. I wasn't a big fan of the curves on the E6, but when you actually hold it in the hand, it it definitely looks way better than in pictures or yeah. even in video. So Very inspired by the uh, E72, I guess. I, I, Guess uh, it's a transition from the E71. E70, yeah. A very nice sequel uh, to the E72, I guess. In, in terms of the outsides of the E6, you have uh, the micro USB cable slot on the left hand side. Right yeah. The top has uh, the 3.5 mm jack. Then there's the micro USB uh, card slot and uh, the, the power, power button. button. Yeah. The right hand side uh, packs a dedicated lock switch. Yeah. Uh, also present are uh, dedicated volume keys and a uh, voice recorder or a voice uh, um, command uh, and a voice mute key also for calls. Yeah. Uh, the bottom this houses has the, the uh, charger port. I guess that is yeah. That, that is the charger port. So this so device can charge via the normal Nokia, Nokia charger Nokia. in addition to micro USB, micro USB as well, USB, yeah. which is always a welcome addition. Definitely. Um, in terms of the operating system, it runs the latest version of Symbian, which is Ana. Yep. And uh, the nice thing about Ana is that it brings some of the things which people have been waiting for, draggable home screens. The E6 has up to five home screens, which has about a uh, capability of folding about 15, 15 digits. 15 digits, yeah. Uh, the thing that you'll notice is that only this part of the screen changes while uh, the clock and the profile stays same. This space is empty right now, but if you have notifications coming in, then those pop up uh, yeah. in place of that blank space. Then again, as you notice, all of this is draggable and you have the new Symbian Anna icons. Uh, even inside the menu, it's it's the same thing. Uh, if you're a E72 user, the one thing that you'll notice is that uh, you can still control everything with the D-pad. With the D-pad, yeah. But if you want to switch to the touch interface, it's always there waiting for you yeah. to pick it up. You also notice that the icons look a lot better because of the screen resolution, which has been improved uh, slightly on the it, it is about 326 uh, pixels per inch, which is mm -hmm. comparable to the iPhone. I mean, Nokia yeah. doesn't really call it the retina, a retina display, display but <laughs> it, it pretty much is uh, the same kind of resolution in a yeah. 2.4 inch screen vis a 3.4 or 3.5 inch True, display yeah. on the iPhone yeah. 4. So it does look very crisp on the screen at least. Definitely. The resolution is one huge draw for this device. Um, you also notice the uh, Symbian Ana browser right, that we just showed you for a quick second. Um, that's basically how it looks, very minimalistic compared to the uh, previous browser. And hitting this once removes everything. Options, yeah. if, if you're scrolling a page, all you need to do is pull down and you have the address bar yeah. waiting for you, which otherwise used to be a huge problem. You had to hit a button and then hit the go to button and and the browser complaints were endless, yeah, at least, yeah. on, on the earlier so version. It should be a lot better. I can't seem to remember what else is new. Um, I uh, oh, it, it, it does a lot of uh, neat tricks. For example, you can use the lock switch to turn the torch on. A long press of, of this button launches the torch, which is Yikes. which is kind of cool. Yeah, and then you can just hold it again and it shuts. Oops. <laughs> Pull it down again. A yeah. long press should so probably shut the torch. There yeah, there, yeah, there you go. So that's that's kind of cool. It it works as a torch. I mean, it's an expensive device, but <laughs> it, but it does what the Nokia 1100 yeah, does. Yeah, that's cool. So um, again, the home screens are fully customizable. Uh, in terms of little improvements that the Ana upgrade has brought, the camera UI is a little different. Uh, you again have uh, the usual things that you would expect, face detection, grid, ISO settings, but the UI is just a tad different. Yeah, Prob just slightly different. It, um, it, it, you can also tap on it and you'll see the little zooming uh, icons pop up over there. And then um, on... Uh, on the E72 and the E71, which did have uh, autofocus, you had to hit the D-pad to get it to focus. Mm -hmm. But this device um, carries a full focus 8 megapixel camera. Yeah, so, so there's no question of uh, getting it to autofocus at all. Not so. a fan of the EDOF, but true. 
True. Yeah. But I mean, if you're looking for simplicity, yeah. then you just hit, then you just hit the button and that's it. You have a picture. Yeah. So there's no autofocus and that's a lot more straightforward. If you're not taking macros or documents, then then you virtually have no problems though. Yeah. Uh, in terms of uh, what else is new, Nokia seem to have preloaded a bunch of different applications as well. Uh, uh, of course, it's worth mentioning that this is the um, this is not the India not version, the India version of so, uh, the E6, and so nor is this final firmware. Yeah, so some things might change, but um, it is nice to see that Nokia has included Joyku Spot. Uh, yeah. which Oops. isn't working because the phone is probably in the offline uh, exactly, mode for yeah. now. Yeah. But Joygu Spot, if it comes preloaded, is is wonderful. Then mm -hmm. there's uh, Silox uh, Traveler application again, which will uh, again need uh, an internet yeah. connection. But then if this is a business device, uh, mm. that is something which is again useful. Yeah. Um, Unfortunately, because there's no internet, we can't show you the mailbox. But um, a couple of things have been improved, I think. I've, I've heard that a couple of the email related things are improved. And Nokia has been pretty big on the enterprise support as well, the support for VPN networks and, mm -hmm. and the whole Microsoft uh, Bang with the communicator yeah. and mail for exchange and everything. That for Nokia is one of the huge draws to the new Symbian Ana and the E6 specifically. Mm -hmm. The E6 has a mono speaker uh, at the back, but for an E-series device it's, it's not too bad. Uh, I'll just play it random track for you. Yeah, the music player is also improved as you can see right there. It's all very album art. It, it's, it's the same thing that you saw on the Symbian 3. Yeah, but now it's like the main. Yeah, but it's now it's on uh, on a much smaller screen which has been adapted uh, a yeah. little. Um, so I'll just play a ra random track at the full volume. So this is what uh, the E6 sounds like. Nice, pretty loud. It's it's probably hard to tell when when you're listening to the E6 uh, on the video, mm -hmm. but it's much it's slightly better than the N8 probably. I would say it's a lot better than the E72. I would say it's the it's the loudest E3 device so far. The E63 was pretty loud, but okay. I mean this is this is nothing which will blow you away. But this is again something. Which is enough to make sure that you do not miss calls. Yeah, but it is a, it's a mono speaker again, so uh, it's a quiet room right now. Maybe in the outside world it might not be that. But you should still be able to probably yeah. get the yeah. ordering tone at least. But yeah. then again, we'll probably have to try this on for a little longer outside. Yeah. Um, in terms of uh, what else is new? Um, you can, I guess we can show a couple of the camera samples right now, but uh, it's... Fixed focus, like we said, 8 megapixels, so don't expect too much. It's almost the same as the uh, C7. Videos do look uh, pretty crisp on the 2.4 inch display, but this is a device which you definitely would not be using for too many videos. Yeah, I think everyone's really used to gigantic screens now. So, But, th but this device still shoots in HD. So if if you're shooting videos, you will still be able to record in HD, despite the fact that it's a small screen and everything. But oh, I didn't know that. But but you still get HD videos. In terms of what's inside the device, it's the same chipset and the same internals as the first batch of uh, Symbian 3 devices. So it has the same processor as the N8, the C7, the E7, um, the same amount of RAM, uh, and all the basic uh, Symbian. Three architecture is the same, despite the fact that it's running an out of the Anna, box. Yeah. Uh, the other devices will probably get Anna in in the next couple of weeks, or maybe a little more. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you're picking the seven E six up, having Anna out of the box will make a lot of difference to your Symbian experience. That is true. Yeah. Especially if if you would not use to Symbian or you haven't uh, moved on uh, from E seventy one or seventy two. Yeah. If you are moving on uh, from one of those devices, uh, this device will feel much faster uh, and uh, a lot more responsive and the fact that the web browser is much better and the f and the ability to use the touch screen especially when you're looking at photos makes um, does make a difference to the experience of a device uh, does, being able yeah. to flick through photos I with a flick of your thumb is oh, that's me hey is, uh. is way better than uh, having to use uh, the 
the yeah, joystick. I think I think people are going to be a lot more productive with this phone, um, just because of the fact that you can type really fast and switch, and it's, the, the touch screen is right there. You don't have to slide out anything. It's just it's just right there. Um, with the QWERTY keyboard. So, and, um, and this is Gorilla Glass as well. Oh yeah, this is Gorilla Glass. So you they, can put it in a pocket and use it as ruggedly as yeah. your This is a traditional, traditional E-series solid build quality with solid glass. Right this is one of those phones which Nokia makes sure that they won't Do bomb right. uh, when, when they actually launch in the market. Yeah. Uh, again, I mean you can use the joystick uh, to look at photos. There's a nice little transition when you reach the end of the Mm -hmm. album but but as you notice I mean these are 8 megapixel photos but scrolling through them is is a piece of cake for the device it, there's yeah. no lag and then the pinch to zoom works as well I'm, I'm trying to do this with one hand that's why I'm having a bit of problem but otherwise if you have a look pinch to zoom is, is not a problem at all the detail is okay as long as you're not taking too many close ups I'll, uh, we'll put this uh, up uh, in detail uh, on the blog as well but 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 for now, uh, I guess. I guess, yeah, that's it. Like, um, we, uh, it's Symbian Ana, so there aren't as many changes as Symbian Bell coming up later on. Um, everything, the core settings, for example, everything is basically the same as before. But the OS is a lot faster. Um, you should know also that that um, the full touchscreen version of Symbian might be a little bit different. I guess maybe uh, of Symbian Ana. Sorry. Uh, than this but but yeah everything's a lot faster everything's a lot smoother um the touch screen makes a huge difference build quality is still good the uh, keyboard feels just like the e72 um so people who've used the e72 will probably get used to it really fast uh little shortcuts right there again i don't like that they haven't color coded these things i don't like that they're just black and white people are going to get confused I, mean, that's, <laughs> I guess it's down to personal preferences but but yeah um uh, the one thing that you might want to take notice the fact that because this new resolution that the E6 has, not all applications that you've been used to on your Symbian 3 devices will run out of the box. For example, the application called Grid Touch, although is available as a download from the OV Store, crashes as soon as you launch it because it's made for a specific uh, resolution. That is true, yeah. Uh, but Nokia has been working with developers over the last two months. Um, the Nokia India at least has contacted about six, 700 developers mm. to get their uh, apps ported, uh, or not really ported but optimized for the E6. Uh, it, from what they're telling us, it's it's not hard for the developer to actually make those changes. Yeah. So they had things like Fruit Ninja running out of the box. But the focus uh, of the team has been getting the popular E-series applications up and running for the E6. So Gravity is a go. Some of the other things like uh, Explore, which will give you access to the file system uh, of the device. And some of the other applications, the basic ones do work out of the box. Yeah, yeah. They also said that all QT applications or QT applications will work They fine. just need to tweak it a little bit and, and they should be okay. Yeah. So in terms of applications, there should not be a problem getting your app on the E6 and as a user, of course, you should get access to most of them. WhatsApp works and some of the other popular yeah. ones work as well. Uh, there's a full uh, version of uh, Quick Office uh, preloaded, so you can edit on the go. Yeah. There's, uh, like I mentioned, VPN support. So overall, if I were to sum this device up, it is a device which is a crowd pleaser. Yeah. It will appeal to the people who who do not want to move to touch devices, who want the E71 form factor. Uh, and are generally saying no to Nokia's touch devices because it works completely with the joypad. It's almost as if it's not a touch screen at all. But this will also serve as a useful bridge for Nokia to get people to start using their touch based touch interfaces and, mm -hmm. and hopefully transition them to some of their new Symbian devices. Although Windows 7 or Windows Phone will be a focus, yeah. but there will still be Symbian devices coming. Yeah. So I guess this might help. Uh, get some users accustomed to the touch-based interface mm -hmm. but then if you don't like the touch-based interface you can use this phone completely as a non-touch device so Nokia has made no compromise on that whatsoever yeah no, I, I'm actually surprised by how much I like the phone because uh, when I saw it in the pictures just like you I just thought oh, you know it looks okay but but yeah I've been playing around with it for the last um, Two hours. How long have you been playing? Yeah. About three hours. <laughs> so, and um, I quite like it. I also like that you know there's a front-facing camera here, so it might be useful for video calls later on. Um, really solid device. Oh, um, definitely. Anodized aluminum at the back. 
Oh yeah, the glass in the front, uh, Nokia's famed build quality. There's hardly any play. This is a rock solid E series device. Yeah, traditional. This is what E series is famous for. Yeah. So um, yeah, I guess I guess that's it then. If you have any questions, do feel free to ask us in the comment section below or on our blogs. Uh, once again, I'm Clinton Jeff from ZomaiGuardCJ.com. And I'm Vaphav Sharma from the Handle Blog. Uh, thanks for watching and stay cool, guys. Bye bye.